SSDs went way up in cost. Are there any deals left? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel. So SSD pricing has gone way up lately, and I don't know why, but it's gone up like 20 or 30%. So what I wanted to do in this video, I've made one like this before. I want to go through Amazon and see if we can find any deals. So full disclosure, I'm just going to be pulling up Amazon. I'm going to go through about 25 different deals, if you can call them that, but some of the best pricing and best SSDs you can get right now for the money. They're still pretty high compared to where they were, but there's some deals out there to be had. So let's go in and take a look. I got 25 of them. I'm just going to go through all of them really quickly. I'll have links to all these in the description. Let's get into it. All right, the first one here is just a marker. Let's take a look over here. This is the SN770 by Western Digital. I love this drive. I've used it in a lot of different things, projects. $89.99, you can tell right here how we've gone up. This used to be about $55, $59, bucks, somewhere in that range just three months ago. It's almost $90 now. This is the one terabyte version too. So we can see that used to be like a two, two terabyte version. That's just the marker to see where we are. So let's go through these other drives. All right, this first one I even have on the list because it's one of the best prices you can get on these mini drives. Take a look here. This is the Silicon Power one terabyte. It's the 2230 size, all right? So that actually means you can build out something just like this. I did a video on this if you guys want to check that out. You can build out a tiny little SSD enclosure like this. This is a rugged one for really cheap. So obviously this is $75.99, but that's, that's an okay price for this tiny little size. Those are usually a lot more expensive. So just going off, if you want to build something just like this, the first one's on the list because I think it's still a pretty good deal at that price for one terabyte. All right, we're going to get into some of the meat and potato drives, and then we're going to go into some more budget drives or some better sales, so let's stay with me for that. But here's another one here, so let's just take a look at what's out there. This isn't the best deal either. It's Samsung 980 Pro SSD, 2 terabytes, you can see right here, $164.99. So we're talking $82 bucks for each terabyte. It used to be a little bit less expensive. It's claiming 57% off, but I don't think that's true. It wasn't $379 at any time for 2 terabytes. So overall, though, this is a good deal, I guess, right now. These are the deals that we're up against. Samsung 990 Evo SSD, two terabytes. You can see it here. The reason, you know, this isn't the best deal is this is only about 10 bucks cheaper, $159.99, so it's 24% off. But this is the, you know, granted, this is the EVO drive, so it's going to be less power, a little bit less performance. May not last as long, but you don't worry. I wouldn't even worry about that. They last so long now. It's just going to give a little bit less power, so something like this is better for you know, less heat, you know, if there's going to be less heat buildup and stuff, this might be a good drive for those kind of enclosures like I was just talking about, like something like this. We don't need a lot of heat in there. At the next drive, we're going to keep working our way down these sales. Here's the Acer Predator. It's the GM7000, two terabyte right here, NVMe drive, up to 7,400 megabytes per second. You can see it right here, 124.99. So it's a fast drive. That comes out to a pretty good price. What is that? 60 something bucks per terabyte. About as good as you're going to do right now. Again, it's the GM7000, two terabyte. This is a, by Acer. It's called the Predator. So check out this drive. It's, it's okay. It's not one of the best, but it's also not one of the worst. It's kind of in the middle of the pack, but it's still very fast. All right, one of my favorites is right here. This is the Lexer 790, two terabytes. It's down to 129.49. When I say down, it used to be a lot cheaper than this. I think you can get it for 99 bucks just a couple months ago, but still, this is one of the best drives. You can see the ratings on here, 4.8 out of 5. Uh, what is it, a seven or 800 reviews. So it's just a really solid drive. I've, this is kind of my sleeper drive. I did a video on this one. So again, for the cost, two terabytes is still higher than it was, but it's a good deal right now. The next one right here is going to be Seagate Barracuda Q5, two terabytes also. And you can see this is 129.79. It says 48% off. But it's, uh, again, this is good. We're going to run into the same, same issue. It's a QLC drive here. So this is going to be basically a little bit less as far as performance. It's claiming way down here at 2,400, 1,800 megabytes per second. So something like this you would actually put into an enclosure again. It's going to have a little bit less heat than those fast drives. And you're not going to see those speeds anyway when you put it into a 10 gigabit per second enclosure. You're not going to get that full speed anyway. So this is the kind of drive you might use as an intermediate like that where you slot it in because you want less you know, less power draw, less heat. It helps with that kind of stuff. And you're going to get about the same amount of speed on a 10 gigabit per second enclosure. All right, this next drive is actually by Intel. And, you know, I worked in a data center. We used to use Intel drives for all of the servers. So they're very high quality, very low kind of errors on these type of drives. Here's one over here, 102 bucks. It's the Intel 670P right here. 102 bucks is not bad, although it is a QLC drive, but still long lasting. You're going to get a little bit less uh, performance out of this again. 3,500 megabytes per second, still fast, and 2,700 on the writes. So overall, not a bad drive at all. Very high quality as far as the, you know, not so much performance, but just longevity of this drive. And I mean, these drives just seem to work over any load, even in RAID configurations and stuff like that. So good drive to pick up from Intel. 
Well, let's keep working our way down the list. Over here is the Crucial P3. I've had a couple of those. I've had one sitting right here, the Crucial P3. Again, it's not the best drive in the world, but it's performed fairly good for me. It's not gonna be the fastest. It says down here, and it's still pretty fast, 5,000 megabytes per second in reads. Um, and around there for rights as well. But it's right here, $114.99, and that's a pretty good price. It's about the best you're gonna find right now for a two terabyte drive. This is the P3 Plus though. So actually, I don't know if I mentioned it's the Plus version. The P3 is not as good, but the P3 Plus, I think, worked out a lot of the bugs. So I think this is the better version here. So definitely pick it up if you think that's a good drive for you, but the P3 Plus is the one you wanna pick up there. And this is actually another one, the same, same kind of drive. Look over here, it's the P3 Plus as well, but the four terabyte version. This is a good deal, $239.99. Um, again, the speed's over here, 5,000 megabytes per second. So not the best drive in the world, I mean, but still really good reviews, 4.7 out of five, so you can't really complain with that at all. How many reviews? 12,000 reviews, so really good drive, but four terabytes for 239, that's about as low as it got. I mean, I saw a couple for 199 a couple of months ago, but that's a good, good price for four terabytes right now, so if you're looking for a lot of storage, not a bad drive. All right, here's one I talked about before. These are more one terabyte drives. It's right here called the A-Data Legend 800. This is a one terabyte drive, and let me just see here. It's gonna, again, this is gonna be the same thing. Let's say it's not the fastest, 3,500 on the reads and 2,800 on the writes, but it's uh, $63.99. This is gonna be a sweet spot for a lot of one terabyte drives now. While before they were maybe 49.51, now they're about 63, 64. This is a pretty good drive by A-Data. I've used this drive personally, and I've had no problems with it. All right, let's keep moving down the list. The next one is the Crucial T500, one terabyte. This one's actually $89.99. Just to show you, you know, some of these are gonna be a lot more expensive. The reason this one is, is because of the speed. It's 7,300 megabytes per second. So it's gonna be a lot faster drive here. And uh, you can just see in here, it obviously, it's just got better performance, 7,300, 6,800. But you're gonna be paying up for that. It's 38% off, it says, but it's still $89.99 for just one terabyte. And therein lies the issue. Everything went up, you know, some money here. We got a lot to go through, so I'm just going to kind of pick up the speed here. 7187, here's kind of the meat and potatoes drive. This is by Western Digital. It's the SN580. And you can see up here, it's about 4150 for the megabytes per, you know, the writes. Really a middle middle drive. It's not going to get as hot as some of those other ones. So a really good kind of workhorse for you for 7187, but still pretty expensive. But that's the best deal I could find right now on this. All right, the next one here is the Kingston NV2 one terabyte drive only. Again, this is gonna be up to 3,500 megabytes per second, so not the fastest. 63.41 as well. So when we're seeing that price kind of bottom out for the one, one terabyte, about 63 bucks on some of the name brands. Now we're gonna get into some of the other ones coming up in a second that maybe aren't so much name brands, but are still quality drives. Okay, so let's get into some of these off brands that still perform really well, have good reviews on Amazon, and they're not gonna be as expensive. Here's one here. We're gonna kind of go down the list, so we're gonna start just a little bit cheaper. Silicon Power, one terabyte right here. This is gonna be, um, let me just see here, 6297 on this one. Doesn't really have a, a good model number I can give you, but I'll have the link in the description as well. So one terabyte, 6297. So this is kind of the start, we'll see it in here, of these kind of off-name brands. Although Silicon Power, I've used a ton of them. I have actually one sitting right here as well. I can show that to you. So I definitely have used that before. Really good drive there. Um, and, uh, you know, it's not as good as my favorite SN770, like the one I told you before, the very first one I showed you for the marker. But that one's actually a really good drive. But this one's okay. Let's keep going down the list here. The next one is going to be Team Group. This is going to be the MP33 one terabyte. And you can see the price has gone down a little bit here. $57.99 in this drive for a one terabyte. Again, this is a 4.6 out of 5. Ratings, 5,500 5, ratings or something, somewhere in that 5,200. Really good drive for a budget drive and something that you shouldn't feel like scared to pick one of these up with. It's, it's actually performs really well. All right, next going down the list, we got Silicon Power again. This is another one terabyte drive. And let me just see here, this is 5,797. Um, let me just see what the difference is on this one. Let's see if we can figure out anything different on this. This is actually gonna be a SATA drive. That's one of the big differences here. So I'm looking at this. So the reason you pick one something, like, why, why, you're saying, why would I pick up a SATA drive for 57, 58 bucks? Well, if you have enclosures like the one I talked about before, again, same thing. If you don't need really fast storage, you just want backup storage, it's gonna be fast enough, five, 500 megabytes per second. You get one of these, the SATAs were great. They're gonna get almost a fraction of the heat that you're gonna get from NVMe drives. And overall, you're gonna have a lot cooler enclosures and less things failing over long term. So I actually pick these up all the time for these type of enclosures where I don't need that fast speed. So look at SATA in that case. 
All right, now let's get into, this is a name brand that I've heard of before and I've used one time, never had an issue with it, but I have talked to a number of people, they swear by them. So I don't even know how to pronounce this, but it's Fick Wot or something, look right here. It's the FN950, two terabytes, 119 only for two terabytes. So now we're getting into, this is one of the lowest kind of two terabyte drives you can pick up right now. This is the Chinese brand, but I, I swear, like it's 4.7, 1400 ratings. I know a lot of people that have used these. I've had one of them I've used, never had an issue with it, not a hiccup. A lot of people claim these are the best kind of budget drives right now. Again, I'm not affiliated with them, so I take it with a grain of salt, read the reviews, but I'm just telling you, budget ones, these are pretty good. All right, another name that you can kind of trust with budgets is right here, and uh, it's uh, EDI, <laughs> I can't even say, E-D-I-L-O-C-A, it's the EN605, one terabyte. Same thing, 4.6 out of five. These are another you know, kind of suite of drives in the budget range, again, coming from China, I believe. And uh, it's usually gonna either be China, this one is made in China. Some of them are Taiwan, some of them are China. Overall though, this, this is a you know, performer. I've seen a ton of reviews on this all over the place. So if you're looking for a kind of an inexpensive drive, here's another one for 57.99 that you can kind of trust. When I say kind of, I, I haven't seen a lot of negative you know, feedback on them. So they just aren't a name brand right now. And uh, I think it's gonna just take some time. All right, the next one is gonna be one of my favorites. I had a couple different of these inland drives, right? You can get these usually at Micro Center. And uh, this, these are just workhorses. They work really well. Here's a one terabyte here. This one's gonna be, again, a low kind of power. It's gonna keep things a lot cooler in closures. One terabyte inland, 63.99, 4.7 out of five rating here. So just high quality drives. I've had almost no problems with them. A lot of different types of inland drives you can pick up. And I've had about 10 of them and I've not had one failure yet. So I know people will if you look at enough ratings and stuff, but if you're looking for another budget drive, not too bad. All right, this next one is gonna be SATA. We're going back to SATA really quickly. In the same name I told you about earlier, it's the FICWOT, it's the FN203. So this is gonna be an M.2 SATA drive, what is it, 112.99 for two terabytes right here. So again, this is gonna be for your external storage where you don't want it to heat up. Way cooler than running the NVMe faster, hotter drives. So just if you want basic kind of file storage and stuff like that, you don't, you know, you're not doing two, 300 gigabytes at a time. These drives work just perfectly fine. It's gonna take a few seconds to offload and you're done. And then finally, some two and a half inch drives. Same reason, if you want to build out some projects, you have some older systems, or just you like the coolness of the 2.5 inch SATA. So here we have a Lexar. It's a great name on drives. If you can find these, these are good. Here's a two terabyte for 109.69. So really good price in this for this type of a drive. Two terabytes right now. They used to be cheaper, but that's what you can get now. The next one here I have sitting right here. You can see it and I have it sitting right here, but it's the AX2 by Team Group. These are great drives as well. And let me see here, 32.99. So 32.99 for a 512 gigabyte right there. One terabyte, let me just see, is 57.99. You guys can figure out which one you want. But these drives just make great backups. I actually hook it up to a cable just like this one here, and I just plug it in, and then I store these away. And uh, you know, I just, it's super easy to back things up with. I just put them in the cabinet, mark what it is on them, and they're super cheap. 32 bucks for 500 gigs, and uh, it's a great way to kind of keep things longer term. And then if you want to keep it super long, I move it to more physical you know, discs and stuff for, you know, if it's gonna be a number of years. All right, the next one here is Team Group T-Force Vulcan. Z, I've actually used this drive before, 31.99, so it's one of the lowest here, it's 512 gigabytes, um, but still it's about 31.99. Again, these drives used to be in the 20s just a couple months ago, now they're a little bit more expensive, but still one of the least expensive 2.5 inch that you can trust, 4.7 out of a, a five, and it's 3,800 reviews, so a very good drive. And then finally, um, this is again, obviously the 2.5 inch or all SATA, but this is actually a really good deal. So here's Silicon Power, it's a four terabyte drive right here. And uh, you can see it's 199.99. So 199.99, 199.99 for four terabytes. 2.5 inch, so a lot of people may say, oh, it's too slow and stuff. Just throw it into an enclosure, use it like with a little cable like this where you just you know, connect it this way without even having the enclosure on it. Then you can just rip it off and put another one on. So that's what I do on these things. But the four terabytes, if you want just to move all your extra projects off or if you have video editing stuff that you want to just move off and just save it for long term, these are great drives to do it. We just went through some of these like I did in the last, you know, in the past I've done this before just to see what's out there. I do it from time to time. If there's a big shift in pricing, I may do another one. But as you can see, there's not a lot of good pricing right now. This is about where we are. So if you're looking for drives anywhere else out there, you know, watch this video. You can kind of see where these are and you can kind of make your own determination if it's a good deal or not. But one terabytes have to be around that $60 price, two terabytes. Cheapest is around 100, 110, 120. So you're not getting the best deals, but that's about as best, you know, the best that you can do right now. So we'll wrap this up and we'll talk to you in the next video. Subscribe if you can. I have hundreds of videos, mostly related to Apple products and everything else. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.